What's up, YouTube? I'm back with the next video with Cheat Engine Stuffs. This is going to be using the emulators and ROMs to search for health um, for our examples here. <clears throat> so picking up where I left off, in the last video we did Mega Man and we found health. And we did that by um, setting our scan type initially to unknown value since we didn't know what the value was and then making that value increase and decrease and searching for um, other values accordingly with next scans and uh, I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of kids yelling or whatever uh, it's like a beautiful evening here and every single child in the neighborhood is out punching each other and riding their bikes in the trees and whatever else they find fun anyway so um, I, for this video, this is going to be a good demonstration to show you the importance of value type. Um, because if you don't realize what changing value type does, you'll always leave it here at four bytes. And then when you go to do the typical processes of finding health or whatever you're looking for, you won't find the value because the value won't be represented in four bytes. So. Let's start. I'll show you what I mean by that. We'll go ahead and open Ninja Gaiden 2. All right. And we will keep... Turn the volume down so that it doesn't pick up my volume from this over the mic. Um, let's see. All right. So we're going to get loaded into the level here. All right. And now we're going to do our first scan. So we attach... FCEUX and our first scan is an unknown value because we don't know how health is being represented here you know <clears throat> so we'll do first scan alright so now let's go get hit by an enemy alright so our health went down so we'll search for a decreased value let's do it again alright decreased value again all right, let's uh, see you got some numbers fluctuating here. I like to do this anyway. Just go to unchanged value and hit it a few times because we know our health is the same. That value has not changed. If you're already completely lost, go catch the last video. <clears throat> All right, so now we'll go ahead and jump around and do some things in the game real quick. Another unscan unchanged value scan, rather. Boom, we're down to 21. Look at all these numbers. We see a couple of numbers changing here, so all right. One of these, probably not these zeros, but one of these should have something to do with our health, right? Because those are the only results that are left. Well, let's get hit, see what happens. Well, okay, we see we've got values changing there. All those values are changing. We didn't get hit. Next scan. All right. Let's go ahead and get hit. Boom. None of these changed. Let's look for a decreased value because our health changed. We're down to zero. Okay? I can't tell you how frustrating this is when you try to do this a ton of times and you think, what the hell? Like, I just did this with another game, this exact process, or I did this with another two or three or ten games and it worked every time. And then you go through Ninja Gaiden 2 and you keep trying it and you just keep ending up with this result. There's a couple of things that it could be, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing value type. Okay, that's very important here. That's what the issue is with this. So we're going to start over. All right, we're going to do a new scan. New scan. Okay. Uh, now, you see your, your scan type is here, then you've got your value type here. You want to change your value type first because if you change your scan type first, let's say unknown value, then we want to change this to all, which is what we're going to do. Then it changes this back to exact value once we change it to all. So, you know, you'll be checking uninitial or unknown initial value. You'll be doing that twice if you don't change your value type when you start off, okay? So, the importance of value type all, okay? is that it's going to search everything that's going on with whatever you are scanning whatever you have cheat engine attached to everything memory wise everything all representations all value types 
everything. Before, we were at four bytes, okay? Now we're looking for everything, okay? So, we'll do a first scan now. Almost 50 million results. I believe before it was only like 13 million or something like that. So we're gonna be paring stuff down, all right? Um, <clears throat> oh, and before we dig in, I just want to make sure that you have your settings set to where scan settings, your mem map is checked, okay? Because that can really make a difference with emulators, all right? Not all of them, but just it's something I want to drill the point home. If you're going to use an emulator, it doesn't hurt to have it checked. Okay, so now that we've got this, we've got our first scan. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get hit. All right, so our value went down, so let's look for a decreased value. Okay, results pared down very quickly. And you'll see we have a bunch of these numbers, like floating number, floating integers and all kinds of crap. So <clears throat> right now you can just go ahead and search for an unchanged value to try to whittle these down even more. Because somewhere in this list, numbers are probably changing right now. Boom. Down to 23,000. Try it again. 17,000. Try it again. Sometimes I'll just sit here and hit this for a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and lose another thing of health there. All right. Decreased value. Down to 403. That's looking good. Let's lose health again. All right. We did it again. Decreased value. Next scan. Down to 68. Let's move around and jump around. See a bunch of numbers changing there. All right. Unknown value. Or I'm sorry. Unchanged value because our health did not change between this last scan and now. Next scan. <clears throat> Six. All right. Now, this handful looks better than the other handful than we had, right? We've got this 10 here. That's looking good. Uh, maybe somehow 116 or even these. I mean, sometimes health is represented in really funky ways. I'm going to say it's this 10. All right. And when I do this, I'll go ahead and double click it and check this box. Now let's try to lose health and let's see if our health decreases or not. So... I'm going to keep my mouse pointer on that one thing of health and see if it drops down. Boom, it went back up. So there's our health, okay? So, why did it not find this the last time? All right, you see your type here is byte. We had it set to four bytes. So the health being represented in its value type by one byte instead of... Uh, we had four bytes selected. There's two bytes, eight bytes, etc. There's all kinds of stuff. But if you set all, you're going to be looking through everything, every value type, okay? So that's the catch-all for if you cannot find stuff, okay? It's not just with emulators. It's with whatever game. Value type all. Um, you know, if you try this with bigger games like Borderlands or something like that, it's going to take a long freaking time to scan, or it can take a long time, okay? And you can end up with massive results, but sometimes it's necessary. Um, especially if a game just comes out, no one's put any cheat tables out, or you just want to learn yourself and start digging in and finding stuff, okay? So, in the last video, we covered the scan type for um, unknown initial value, okay? searching for an unchanged value, searching for increased value or decreased value, okay? So between the scan type stuff in the last video, which we also did here, but we just blazed through it, and the value type stuff now, that's pretty much going to set you up for the majority of what you want to find uh, in this kind of game or with Nintendo games, emulators, ROM, stuff like that, okay? So now that we know what our health is, it says 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 10 ticks. So we've got 6 left. Let's change this value to 16. All right. Now what I did is I double-clicked right on that 16. If you double-click here, you can change the value type. If you double-click here, all right, brings up the address uh, dialog box there. So double click right on it or you can right click anywhere on it and say um, change the record all right and you'll change the value that'll bring up the same window as double clicking right on the value okay 
<clears throat> so now that we've changed that, let's go back in the game. Bam, it's up. Um, all right. Now, it's the same thing with lives, health, energy, all that kind of stuff that has like a counter or whatever. You'll be using the same exact process. Okay. So in the next video, what we're going to do is dive into... Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what we'll dive into yet. I, I think I'll probably get into, um, well, I don't know. I guess we'll just find out once I get to it, which I'm going to do here in just a minute. But I'm sitting here playing through Ninja Guide and losing my train of thought like adult. Um, anyway, okay, thanks for watching this one. I hope that it's uh, helped you out. Ask me any questions, comments, whatever, all that good stuff. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, pass this around if you have any friends that are interested I'm trying to get my channel going here and uh, really want to help everyone out um, I'm, I'm still relatively new to cheat engine so through teaching it also helps me learn more especially when people I do something uh, not quite as well as it could be done and someone comments bitching me out like I'm a retard that's fine with me because I end up learning so it's all good haters gonna hate <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching.